Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. My name is David Thorne. I'm from Thorne Web Design. Now in this video uh, series, it shouldn't be a very long video series, we're going to be making this um, image sliding gallery or this sliding image gallery, should we say. Um, I mean it's not it, it's not really the, the, the best of galleries but it's the concept of how you do it which is important. Now this has no thumbnails on it, it's just simply a, a square box with all of my um, preview images from all of my videos from YouTube and then when you hover over then there's a right click thing and it just slides the gallery on and then you go to the left and it slides it back to the left okay now if you can be able to do this it can extend so much further to do lots more things and it's such a simple gallery to do I mean the JavaScript for it, it is let me see let me see I've made the JavaScript the JavaScript is it's like 50 lines and we could reduce this down even further I mean I've just literally just put things in there for the sake of doing it you know it, it's it's such a simple thing to do um, so let's get started shall we so basically we're gonna make this whole thing I've got um, I've got like God, I don't know how many how many images there are here there's a whole bunch of images there's basically an image from every single video which I've got I think just like 121 or something so there's a whole bunch of um, images here that we're going to use and uh, let's get started shall we so at the moment I'm on the completed version so let's just pop over to give a nice blank page shall we and uh, let's get rid of any of these alright what do you need on this now potentially you don't need any server side um, experience with this I'm going to use just a spot of PHP just to scan the directory and pick up all the images for us but um, I can show you I'll show you how to do it without PHP as well alright so don't worry about this um, server side stuff if you have no knowledge about server side this is fine okay if you have little knowledge about JavaScript this is also fine I'm going to show you how to do the JavaScript alright so um, with your index, whoops, don't want that one. Let's close that one there. Uh, with your index.html or index.php, okay, uh, it really, really doesn't matter. All right, so let's just um, stick at the top, and we can do this in full. So, and I'm having really problems typing at the moment. Um, okay, so doc type and then HTML. Let's just knock that down, and then head, and then title, and then slide in gallery okay then I've got um, we want to attach obviously a, a style sheet as well um, href and we've got then uh, CSS uh, layout.css well equals uh, style sheets let's finish that off and then we've got scripts type and we need the, J the jQuery library as well um, JavaScript and then um, source equals JS it's in the folder of JS and we've got uh, jQuery.js because we're going to be using jQuery and then we're just going to finish that off as well and if you don't know how to get j um, the jQuery library I'll show you how to do that as well okay uh, so then just got the script the script is the main one that we're going to run um, all of the code in all right so um, that's basically our, our, our head done and now uh, let's just get the body done okay so let's go and grab jQuery first of all. I've already got jQuery uh, on here, so we don't need to um, worry about it, but that's potentially what the jQuery looks like. So let's just go over to the browser. Let's go jQuery.com. And when it loads, and this is then there is this download jQuery uh, v1.9.1. It'll probably be another version um, or whatever, but um, come onto there now you've got, you just want this compressed version okay so download the compressed production jQuery 1.9.1 that then gives you all this text just click in the screen control A to, to um, select tool control C to copy come then to your jQuery um, .js file okay get rid of everything that's in it okay and then paste um, what you've got on the clipboard inside of there save the file close the file done okay that's jQuery um, installed then obviously um, put it in the script tag as well uh, in the head to load it done all right it's very very simple you don't have to worry about how jQuery is made or whatever just learn how to use jQuery so um, we're going to make a very very simple um, wrapper and we're going to call this um, gallery wrapper and then inside of it we're going to say uh, gallery mask now I'll explain the mask a little bit later Right, and then we want then, and we're going to use like the kind of uh, the naming convention of 
gallery and then something okay and with inside of here within whoops don't want li it within inside of here we're then just going to give it a class of guess what gallery li so we've got gallery ul i think i think i just said li then got gallery dash ul and then gallery dash li okay now with inside of here we want then image source and then we're going to give this a class of gallery dash image as well and the source we're not going to worry about for the time being okay because we're going to insert it just a little bit later okay so that's as much as we need to care about from there now um, we need to have these buttons all right these other buttons which I had so let's just come back to here again and show you whoops okay so um, these these left and right hand like bars type thing we're just going to place we're going to place two bars inside there they're going to place a little box inside then we're going to give it a background image okay so we need to do these two boxes um, which I'm just going to sit down here okay and they're going to sit outside of the mask but within inside of the gallery wrapper all right so we're going to call these then um, left button and within inside of this we're going to then say left uh, button inner okay and we're just going to do that. We're going to copy this because we're going to use CSS to style it and we don't really need any content inside of it and we're just going to say right button because although they're, they're the, the inner the inner is actually going to be like the kind of visual button this big grey column is actually going to be the button itself so we're not going to really care um, so this is then our two buttons now um, time for some styling shall we um, now I know that one of the images that let's say we just got an image for a, and we just need to download that oh no it's in gallery I didn't download any of this stuff yet that just run in the background so we've got video image 10 that'll do so we got it in let's just put an image in there so we've got image or oh no video image it's underscore and did I put an underscore on it as well? Yes, I did. Okay, so let's just say ten uh, dot jpeg. Okay, so that's our test image, and we come back to our um, start page, and we should just get literally nothing on there. Let's see what we got here. Uh, not found on the server. Oh, gallery with two L's is normally spelt in English, I believe. Okay, so now we've got an image, good, but I mean, there's nothing there at the moment because we need to style the actual body of the um, the gallery. So, um, let's do that, shall we? So, with, with inside of our, our CSS folder, we've got our uh, layout.css, and um, as I like to do in every single CSS file of the beginning one, uh, I like to just knock out any margin and any padding because I like to be the one that actually puts this margin and padding into place rather than having something else look a different way or whatever um, now we're not going to use any anchor tags um, but we're going to put this in anyway because it's just good practice um, just to knock out any borders around images when they're wrapped inside of an anchor tag okay so uh, we need now gallery wrapper now for this sake uh, for this example um, the gallery wrapper is going to be 380 pixels in width and it's going to be three, sorry, 480 pixels in width and 360 pixels in height. And the margin, we're going to just put 50 pixels uh, from the top and then auto and then auto. There's going to be a border on it of, I don't know, let's put three pixels solid and then FFF. And I want the background, I want the body for this example uh, just to be then background and then... 666 okay just so dark background okay so now we've got the border now for this we do need to have um, this position relative because of those two boxes those those columns that we were talking about I want to be able to position them um, using absolutes okay position absolute because I just want one to sit over to the right hand side one to sit over to the left hand side I don't really want to worry about having to float things and do whatever so I'm just going to use position absolute okay gallery inner or gallery mask sorry that's just going to be a mask for the um, for all of the the images. Okay, so it's going to hide all of the images, and it's going to be the same height. Okay, exactly the same height, but we're going to get rid of this position um, relative, and this is what I'm going to say: overflow is equal to hidden. Okay, so it's not going to let anything else come into effect. Um, so let's have a quick save of this first of all, and see what we've got. 
so far. Okay, so we're all sitting in the middle right now, and we've got this UL is... Okay, we need to get rid of the margin on the top of this. We don't need any margin on the gallery mask, okay, because that's just sitting directly with inside of it, and it doesn't need a border either, okay? So it's doing nothing more than just masking everything off. Okay, so now we go. We've got the image sat right in the center. Now we just need to um, do these bars, so the bars sit there properly, and then we'll worry about the images later. Okay, so we've got a uh, left button, and we're going to say that's width of um, 75 pixels, and whoops, and height, David, let's move this down, and height then of 360, position, position, however you spell it, position absolute, top uh, 0 pixels, left 0 pixels, and, uh, and then background, I don't know, we do 666 as well and then opacity you might have to play around a little bit here with Internet Explorer and so on but they're not huge difference and we're going to say uh, 0.5 so we're going to reduce it down uh, by half the opacity um, now I I don't really use the opacity too much but I think it's just more opacity and something but just check on check on the web for the different styles of, of, of opacity okay so now let's just copy this and if I do use opacity, then I'll just do quickly check um, what it is on the web, okay, to see for browser compatibility. So, um, okay, so that's now to the right. So the right button's going to sit to the right hand side, the left hand button's going to sit to the left hand side. Let's save this. Let's have a look. Okay, and our two buttons sit there, or our two columns, should we say, sit there nicely. Now, what we want to have is this, this box in the middle, which is going to hold our arrows. So that's called left button inner. Okay, and this is going to be a width of 35, I believe. Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll have a in a second. And height, I definitely know, is um, 80. And that's just going to do a little bit of mathematics, which then what should have been 140 pixels top. And then um, auto, whoops, auto, zero, and auto. And uh, background for the time being, we're just going to do as red. Okay, so let's just do this. Okay, and we get our button there nicely. Now we've just got to put the other one in. So we can just copy this potentially. And we can actually just place that in there and do right button like that. Refresh this. And there, there we go. We get both buttons. Now um, I've got these two images. Where are they? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, images here. So we've got right um, uh, move right arrow PNG and move left arrow PNG. And there's two arrows in it. One's a little bit um, lighter than the other one. So we're going to use then background on uh, these. But we're going to have to do separate ones for this. Okay, we're going to say then uh, left button. We're going to say then background. Um, and I like to use background image personally. So uh, whatever you want to use. And then we're going to say uh, move and this is left, so left arrow dot png okay, and I'm going to say background repeat equals then uh, no repeat and uh, then background uh, position is then left one was minus 35 I believe, Let's just this in a minute so minus 35 left and then nothing top, now let's copy this and just do the right one. What are we on at the moment? 13 minutes. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Then this one's then I believe zero and zero. Okay. So now we should have um, the two buttons sitting in these boxes. All right. And we'll just knock out this red background here and come back to here. And let's see what we got. And obviously nothing, which is good. Let's have a look why that's not loading. Fail to load. Uh -huh. Where are they? Let me see where they were again. Complete. Did I copy them over? Images. Yeah. Did I make a spelling mistake? Probably. Move left arrow PNG. Move. Huh. Right. Okay. We we'll work this one out. Why is that not working? What have I done wrong here? Move left arrow PNG. 
Are they, they are PNGs, they are PNGs. Moved left arrow. Okay, let's check this. Ah, yeah, that's be a good idea. All right, just got to do a quick bit of um, changing of. Oh no, wait a minute, change that one there. Ah, because they can't. Oh, that doesn't seem right. Moved left arrow PNG. What's going on here? Right. Right, I'm going to stop the video here and I'm going to go into the next one, okay? And I'm going to resolve this by the next one. So, um, the next video tutorial, um, we're going to sort this stupid mistake out, whatever it is, and then we're going to continue on uh, pretty much with the JavaScript and then loading the images, all right? So I think it's probably going to be about a three-part one. The second one's going to be then probably getting all the images in there. Third one's going to be the JavaScript, then we're going to be done. Uh, okay, all right, so I'll see you in the, uh, the next video tutorial.